First two of those at Arkansas State. Here's Pack. He'll knock that one down. That's a two-pointer. Great battle between these two guys. So missing him the last couple of games has been a huge factor for the Canes. Kid trying to back his way toward the paint. But that left hand, that's a pretty play. And Paul Jobe, the freshman from France, getting some minutes lately from Jim Laranega. Here's Poplar on the wing. Wuga will let fly and swish it home from way downtown. That's been the improvement in Wuga Poplar's game. At one point, we're shooting over 50% from three midway through the season. Badula going in strong among the trees, and he'll stick that one right back up and in. And Wuga rewards the fans with a big-time three off the bounce of Sean Padula mixing it up with the big fellas. Doesn't matter to Sean. He is always the same guy. You know, win or lose, streaky or non-streaky for the team, injuries or no, he's always the same guy. Ken, a great move along the baseline to spin in two. But anyway, a great day on ice. Lynn Ken and the Hokies turning things up offensively to end that first half. Second half on the way, this has been. Another edition of Duke and North Carolina. Can't wait for that one. North Carolina coming off a shocking defeat by Georgia Tech. Turn around here and up and in by Nigel Pack. You can see Mike Young likes to match up with Melajo Petit guarding North Chad O'Meara more so than Lynn Kidd. So when O'Meara gets back into the game, normally you're going to see Petit on the floor. And he had an incredible game where he was coming across midcourt, maybe a step and launching it, and they all went. Made nine three-point field goals two years ago at Florida State. George on the wing. George stripped of the basketball, and the Hokies will pry it free. Collins bouncing for Nickel. He won't wait, and sticks it. They're on an 8-2 run. Miami has missed their last seven shots. Here's Couture straight on. He sticks a three-pointer. Kid on Omir. That's a pretty good duel. Getting his footing, and Omir just stayed home. It came right to Barron, though, and he gets it to go. Another great play by Robbie Barron, who missed a number of those easy threes against Duke on Monday. Knocks one down there. Tough to guard. He's 6'9". Omir going in strong. Yes, That's Norchad Omir right there. Yeah, Norchad Omir attacking the basket, even though Lynn Kidd's about three inches. Back to Padula. Poteet. This goal is to get... Got it! The goal is to get Omir in foul trouble. Houston, Mike Young standing right there, know, telling his team exactly what he wants versus Georgia Tech. And he has truly grown, and Mike Young's confidence in him has grown as well. Yeah, he had scored a total of 18 in the previous three games. A rainbow triple well dropped for Pack. That's a tough bucket. That he's got himself a seam to get to the basket. Joseph. Will scoop it up and drop in two. Densley Joseph, nice move on the baseline. Tadula got to 1,000 points in his career earlier and now drains a long three. Barron will shoot it. And you got a great look on that underneath out of bounds play, just unable to knock it down. Joseph, boy, that's a tough angle. Off the window for two. Collins thought about it. He'll drive it instead. Miami comes away with an opportunity to tie it or take the lead. Joseph got it. He nails a three. AJ Desai was right under the basket, had a good look at it, and everyone had a great look at Bensley Joseph strolling down the floor, pull up three ball. So it's the Hokies by one. Padula on the drive, got by everybody and laid it in. And Miami 17 out of 18 at the line. And a pick by O'Meara, and he will slam it down on the other end of the floor. The lead, North Chad O'Meara getting out into the passing lane, picking it off, finishing on the other end of the floor. Georgia bounce speed for O'Meara. Banging bodies with Poteet, lays it off the window. Two minutes to play here in Miami. George driving it around. Barron, scoop shot, yes, and a foul. And the freshman will be headed to the line. We've talked so much about North Chad O'Meara, Nigel Pack, but we have not spoken enough of 
Approaching one minute to play. Giant misses at the foul line for the Hokies. Over the top, the slam by Cleveland. Matthew Cleveland going airborne. But goes into attack mode and finds Matthew Cleveland for the finish. Inside, he is just jumping up and down for what they've done at the foul line. Here's Padula launching. Yeah, hits the three. Miami's made 22 of 23 foul shots today. And another timeout. This team did not make free throws, and they turned the basketball over. Padula got another look, missed on that. Couture fires it up there. He hits a three. Trying to stay alive from that three-point line, 80-74. More pressure here from the Hokies. They were down 65-60 to and turned this game on a dime at that point in the game. And it was turnovers from Virginia Tech that gave Miami that opportunity to get back into it, take that lead, and then they never looked back.